So for this problem, we have predict the dipole moment of this bond between nitrogen and sulfur. So all we're going to do is analyze it. So electronegativity increases um, from left to right until fluorine and increases up till fluorine. So now we look at the relative electronegativities of nitrogen and sulfur. So where is nitrogen? Right here. Where is sulfur? Right here. So this one's kind of tricky, right? Because they're actually diagonal. So which one wins? Because this one is above sulfur, but sulfur is to the right of nitrogen. So in these types of cases, the one above actually wins. So if you have a diagonal, N and S, or C and P, um, the one above, right, the one on the higher level, in this case nitrogen, will win. So the nitrogen will be more electronegative, therefore the, um, the arrow will be pointing towards nitrogen. Giving nitrogen a partially negative charge, that's all this means, and a partially positive charge. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.